Good morning. Yes, I have the same wrap on as yesterday because <laughs> it's 7 a.m. <laughs> um, well, now it's 8 a.m. I got to my dental appointment at 7 a.m. Do my teeth look nice and shiny clean? I love going to the dentist. You guys know I'm all about clean teeth, making sure your teeth look perfect. Excuse me. So, just got my teeth nice and shiny clean. There was one spot over here though. Dang, I had some like, I guess some buildup <laughs> right there. And I was like, oh girl, going to town. But everything else looked <laughs> pretty great, they said. And everything looks good. Yay, good bill of health is always, always a good Now, thing. I think it's time for some coffee or something because I am pretty exhausted. I need to go to the post office. Post office, coffee. <laughs> And I don't really want to get coffee when you first get your teeth cleaned. Anyone else, when I first get my teeth cleaned, I don't want to eat or drink anything because I'm like, they're perfectly clean. I don't want to mess them up. I know that's silly, <laughs> but I don't know. It's like when you first wash your car and you're like, oh, I don't want to like, you know, get anywhere that it might get dirty. So I'm also meeting up with my good friend Joan today at noon. So yep, let's get going. So I may have gone to Marshall's <laughs> and I scored on some really cute Ray Dunn stuff. I'm still on the hunt for these two specific canisters and I'm going to insert them here. One of them is a gingerbread man that he's, it says, oh snap on the canister. And the other one says reindeer snacks. And I'm thinking that as it's getting closer and closer to Christmas, Marshall's and Home Goods and TJ Maxx might not have as much Christmas Ray Dunn stuff. So I don't know if it's even possible. Apparently, this is a hot commodity to try to find this heart mug. I think it's new or newer. And on the other side, there's a little teeny heart. And on the front, there's a big heart. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. And I love that it's red on the inside. Um, by the way, yes, I did get some Chick-fil-A for breakfast this morning. Don't judge me. Um, <laughs> I'm so hungry. So I didn't end up getting coffee. Um, so yeah, the sweet lady. So apparently, these women, you guys... Let me actually turn face. So these women that are at Marshall's TJ Maxx Home Goods right in the morning for Ray Dunn stuff, they are like um, a little clicky. Some of them are really nice, but some of them are kind of like, who is this new person here? You know, like, I get it. You're on the hunt for your Ray Dunn stuff and you want your good stuff and you don't want to share. I get it. But I'm really like looking for specific things. I'm not like, I don't, wouldn't call myself a collector at this point, although I do have a couple things now, but um, I'm really only looking for specific things. And the reason I love him is because they're really good quality mugs. They're dishwasher and microwave safe. And um, I think they look very country. And that's why I like them. I think they'll look really cute in the house. Okay, so since I'm facing, I might as well just show you the other things. So I got this one that says, hey girl, and it's pink on the inside. And they said this one was a brand new one or a newer one too with the pink. I guess it's for Valentine's Day. I don't know. Again, if you Ray Dunn people out there watching this, educate. Educate your girl, because I still don't know. And then I got these little ornaments that say Mr. and Miss for Chris and I. Since we're getting married next year, I figured we'll put these on the, our little kitchen tree next year. Like I said, I have that tree with the little mugs and coffees and candies and stuff. So I thought this would be so cute. And this is only $5.99, so I don't feel that bad buying them. But the mugs are also $5.99, though. Anyways, I did go to the post office and again, I got in and out of there so quickly. I'm so happy. So all of my Christmas shopping is pretty much done now. I have all my packages mailed out that I need to mail out. I do have a few cards that I need to mail out, but those can easily go out anywhere. And now I need to um, finish getting some makeup on because I'm going to, like I told you, meet with my friend Joan. But let's go ahead and open the advent calendar. I don't think I said happy day 14, but happy day 14. All right, day 14. Ooh, it's jewelry today. It's a cute bracelet, and it matches those earrings that I got the other day. Look how cute. I can't wait to wear that. By the way, I made my nail appointment <laughs> for Friday, so you won't have to see these crazy nails. If you're wondering what I got from Chick-fil-A, I just got these little mini hash browns and a Diet Coke. This is what I was really dreaming of, but I thought I'd get something to eat as well.
So I am so excited to share this with you guys. Atelier um, had an advent calendar come out this year and they just sent it to me for review purposes with Octoly. And so since it's already day 14, we have some opening to do. So I'm gonna literally open 14 of them right now with you guys. This will be so much fun. And then of course I'll do the rest with you each day of Vlogmas. Look how beautiful this is, wow. That's so pretty. Okay, let's see, where is number one? Here is number one. I haven't opened like a regular advent calendar like this this year. Oh, this looks like it's a little perfume. Maybe I'll try not to open it, take it out. This is the Clementine. Oh, this one smells so good, like oranges. I love that one. So there's number one, here's number two. Another perfume, this is Rose. Can you guys see that? Rose, I don't think I've tried that one before. Number three. Oh, another perfume. Well, they have a lot of beautiful perfumes. Iris, ooh, I can smell that one, it smells amazing. Then four. Ooh, a soap. This is the just Atelier Cologne. Oh, this smells so good, you guys. Mmm, I'm definitely giving that to Chris. It smells so good. Oh my goodness. Yum. Let's see, yeah. This is Oolong. Sorry if you can't see that. I'm so busy looking at it. Oolong. I really want to smell that. I'm sure it'll smell like a little more floral. I'll get that out in a second. Where's number six? Number six. What does that say? Musk Imperial. This probably is more like cologne smelling. Number seven. Ooh, what is this? Shower gel, orange. Ooh, sangreen. I love, love, love this scent. I'm so excited. Little travel size. What was that? Seven. So we have number eight. Where's number eight? There it is. It's a big one. Oh, what's this? A body lotion, the Pomelo Paradise. I really want to get this open. Hold on, there's a chance. I'm left-handed, so it makes sense that I could get this probably better out with this hand. All right, let's give this a sniff. Mmm. It smells more citrusy. It smells divine. So that'll go so good with the body wash. Yummy. So that was eight. Let's see, where's nine? Here's nine. Their scents are one of the most like pure scents. I love them. This is Cafe Limerosa. Luber Am I saying that right? Cafe Luberosa? I want to get these out, but they're really hard to, <laughs> to get out with my nails, so I'll have to try that in a second. Number 10. This one is Cedar Atlas. Cedar Atlas. This one's probably more cologne smelling too. I'm really excited to have all these travel size ones like this so I can try out my favorites because um, I've only really tried one or two from them before. So that was number 10. There's 12, there's 11. This is a shower gel in the Clementine California sense. 12. We have the vanilla. Ooh, this vanilla intense is so good with the orange mixed together. I love that one. And then we're looking for 13. We only have two more to open today, and then I'll just be doing one at a time as I normally do. This one. Let's see. I cannot say that. Vitivir, Vitivir Vital. <laughs> Definitely butchering that. And then 14's a big one. This is another soap. Voice Blondes. I don't know how to say that. I cannot apparently take things out of a box with my right hand. Hmm. This is a little more like fresh, like almost citrusy. I think I like this soap better, but this one's definitely for Chris, and this one would be more so like a fresh one for male or female. So there, we're all 14. And then I'll open more obviously later this week.
So I just opened my gift from Joan and she got me this awesome book. I love the color, this beautiful light pink. One question a day, my life so far, a daily journal. So this is really cool. I've done something like this, but this one's definitely very different. So they ask you a specific question every day and you journal about it. Like this says, what is your hometown and what influence did it have on you? And you just write a little bit down for the day so i am so excited for this thank you so much jo. i'm here all cozy in my slippers these are from pottery barn and my very cozy pottery barn robe these pjs are from kohl's i believe then i've got my mug full of hot cocoa because today is national hot cocoa day this marshmallow in the shape of a tree is from home goods and my cup is from joanne's i believe let it snow. It's kind of ironic because it's never going to snow in Arizona, at least not where I live. I've got my tree on and I just feel very festive. And this is hidden the spot. Whoa, buddy. Look what I just got in the mail from Kristen Game. Oh my goodness. Christmas came early. I got some little presents and I bet this is some yummy toffee that she makes every year. One for me and one for Mama Bee. You got a card, too. I'm at Mama B's house, so I figured I'd just come over and... I look terrible. Oh, I won't show your face, then. Oh, thank you, Kristen. Oh, can I show you now, then? She yes, put her hair down. I guess, I guess that makes the difference. Mama B. Can you open that and make sure oh. see the toffee? Well, pardon me. It's such a cute little package, too. Oh, I too. love this little box. Oh. Oh, yeah. Shamey, shame, but She makes oh. this homemade every year. So good. Yeah, my dad loves it too, right, Mom? You, go, you better you better hide that from Dad because he'll eat the whole thing on you. <laughs> I got one too. Let me show you in the light. Look how cute this box is. Oh my goodness, she slaves over this, you guys, and it is so amazing. Okay, I'm gonna open my presents on camera with you, but let me open guys, my. I'm almost gonna cry. I'm not kidding. Because she gave me the sweetest charm from Pandora. We call each other sister because we really are so much alike. It's crazy. And we talk all like literally we're the same person sometimes. So we call each other sister. So this was so sweet. Literally going to cry. I love it. And I love these too. So she got me these um, mints for the oven and my buffalo check, my favorite buffalo check. These are so perfect because I'm going to have to do some more cooking, you guys. Lots of Christmas bacon. And look how cute these are, little salt and pepper shakers that are buffalo check do. Thank you so much. I love them. Love you, sister. Mom made my favorite today. Tortilla. Spanish tortilla. Which is eggs, potatoes, and, and chorizo, chorizo. But Spanish chorizo, Spanish not Mexican chorizo. chorizo. It's very different. Look Believe it. me. Look it. Mm. Oh, yeah, but It is that time of the day again. There's my computer. I do have a candle on. It's time to start editing the vlog. <laughs> I'm actually almost all the way done. I've been watching Marvelous Miss Maisel season two. I'm actually on the very last episode. I can't believe I've already gone through the entire season. Um, I'm in this like cozy jacket that literally feels like a blanket and I'm gonna finish editing. By the way, I just wanna make sure, Chris is texting me. Um, I just wanna make sure no one gets their panties in a twist when I was talking about the, Span the difference between Spanish and Mexican chorizo, there is a difference. Like Mexican chorizo is usually a little bit greasier and it's like usually, um, I think it's just fresh, like more fresh like pork where Spanish chorizo is smoked and kind of like cured. So it's not as greasy. It is still, it still can have some of that grease but it's not as greasy and it just has a different taste. And I mean, I am Spanish, so I'm probably a little bit biased because I've had it all my life, but I really do like it. So if you can get your hands on it, try it. Tortilla is, mom. my mom's tortilla was amazing tonight. Like, so good. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. So I'm gonna get editing and I will see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.